Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about the issue where the outlook contacts does not show up in microsoft teams so let's get started sometimes the contact which we create in microsoft outlook does not show up in microsoft teams uh, be it the teams online or the teams desktop application if we go to the contacts tab in outlook uh, we can see all the contacts which has been created under the account and you can see groups as well and you can see a few contacts in here as well these contacts should usually show up in microsoft teams but if i open microsoft teams in here logged in with the same account I can see uh, very less contacts or the contacts which are there is not exactly showing up. Uh, this is under the call tab and then the contacts tab in here. And we can go ahead and add a new contact directly from here. But uh, the contacts which are present in Outlook is not showing up there. For example, this contact, new contact for Teams calling has been created there but it is not showing usually if you have imported contacts in outlook in bulk uh, it does take some time to show up in microsoft teams if everything goes well it will show up in microsoft teams but most of the time it can have issue where it does not sync all the contacts to microsoft teams what we can do in order to fix it is uh, we will have to first verify whether the contact is synced through the server you can uh, check the contact in here and you can check the contact on the outlook on the web and check if you can see the contacts there if the contact does show up in the outlook on the web that means that it has been imported correctly or created correctly in the outlook application but if you have imported the contact uh, from the outlook using the file and import export tool and it is not showing up in the outlook on the web then uh, there could be an issue uh, maybe the contact is not syncing to the outlook on the web the best way to uh, have the contact imported in outlook so that it syncs uh, all across the application is to create them from the outlook on the web the option you can see here when you open outlook and click on the contacts tab uh, on the top right you have manage contacts option where you can import and export the contacts uh, you can export the current contacts if you want it will export it in a form of csv file as you can see here it will cover most of the columns with the information you can verify them before importing as well in case you have created contacts in the outlook and uh, they are not syncing on the outlook on the web you can export the contact from the Outlook desktop application in the form of CSV and then import them using the Outlook on the web by using the manage contact and import contact option. Uh, you can simply browse to the file and then select the file and then import it. It will import the contacts. What it will do is it will uh, duplicate the contacts if you have the contacts in Outlook desktop and Outlook on the web. So you can import uh, one or two contacts and check the behavior uh, whether it shows up in Microsoft Teams or not. Usually when we import the contact directly from the Outlook on the web, uh, it shows the contact instantly in the Microsoft Teams application. So uh, my recommendation would be whenever you have bulk import of the contacts, uh, you can perform it from the Outlook on the web under contacts tab and manage contacts and then import contacts just do make sure that all the columns which you are importing is correct and it holds all the information after you have done the import on the desktop application it can take time but uh, you can check that directly on the teams online which is uh, directly connected to the server uh, you should see the contacts which you have imported in the teams online if you don't see it uh, just allow it a couple of minutes and you should see it it is more uh, 
dependable to import contacts uh, as compared to the Outlook desktop application as per my experience. Yes, in, in this case, we have already imported it as you can see and we'll just see what's the behavior in the Teams application. Even though the desktop application didn't show it right away, we'll see how it does for the Teams online application. It seems that it is having issue on the Teams online currently because of the browser cache issue. So what I have done here is I have closed the Teams application completely on my computer and I'm trying to relaunch it. And once I relaunch it, I will go to the calls tab and then the contacts tab to check if the contacts which we have imported is showing up there or not. So it went directly on to the same page where we were working on and now as you can see all the contacts which we have imported from the outlook on the web is uh, showing up in microsoft teams it hardly took five minutes for it to show up in microsoft teams um, when created from the outlook on the web so there you go guys if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day bye take care